subscribe to our channel. Why not? Click the subscribe button. We are making 4th of July treats for kids. So first you're going to get your 8x8 pan and you're going to take some Pam and you're going to spray it in the pan. And then I'm just going to take a napkin and kind of smear it around a little bit and get it on the edges. So I am taking the box of Berry Blue Jello and I am going to take it out of the packet and pour it in this mixing bowl right here. So let me just explain to you guys that initially I used the recipe from the back of the box and I mixed one cup of boiling water and I mixed one cup of cold water. But when I went back to look at the recipe, I was only supposed to use one cup of water so for this the blue uh, squares I'm just gonna do squares instead of roll-ups with this one because I messed up the recipe so um, when you guys see me mixing the next one I'll only add one cup of water So you're going to continue mixing that until it has dissolved and then you're going to pour in your one cup of marshmallows. So what you guys didn't see was me putting the marshmallows inside of the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds just so they can warm up and puff up just a little bit so it's easier to stir it in so it can dissolve into the jello. So just keep mixing this until you have no more marshmallows left in sight. just checking to make sure all the marshmallows were dissolved and now I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the bowl it looks foamy right now but once um, everything starts to settle the marshmallow and the jello will separate in the fridge so you can leave it in the fridge for about an hour um, I'm not going to talk through the, new, the next steps for the fruit punch, I believe it is, that I made um, because I already uh, kind of told you guys how to make it. So I'm just going to speed this part up. Okay, so here you guys are going to see me taking a butter knife and cutting around the edges to try to get this uh, jello to come up from the sides. Um, of course, I used the Pam, but apparently I didn't use enough or um, it didn't settle the right way. The marshmallow actually settled on the bottom. So what you guys will see me doing now is just cutting it into like little squares, little rectangles. And I just found that easier to do this way. So this one won't be a roll up. It'll just be little jello square, tri tri not triangles, rectangles. <laughs>
so with this one um the marshmallow actually settles on the top but apparently it wasn't enough marshmallow so maybe i should have added more and i'm just going to try to roll this one up um once i rolled it up it was huge and you're going to see me struggle to cut it So after I somehow got it to roll up, I took a piece of floss and I just basically um, put it underneath and crossed it to slice this. That first piece was um, completely too big and it didn't stay rolled at all. Um, the next couple of pieces I do try to get like a smaller piece and what is actually, actually supposed to happen is the marshmallow is supposed to um, create like this little white uh, filling in the middle so it would have been like a red white and blue and white but um, my marshmallow layer was a little bit too thin so I just kept chopping them up and I plated them for my kids to eat um, I wouldn't write this off as a fail but hey it's a treat so see you guys later